right so let's go ahead and create our so make sure you import your two assets and right click create a new fusion composition now i'm just going with the default settings and now let's drag in our fusion composition head over to the fusion page and right here make sure to select press control space and search for u loader now this will open up your window where you can search for the 3d assets that you downloaded from the link in the description so i'm just going to import the first one which was this classical museum and now go ahead and press control space search for u transform and now search for u merge and also now search for u render now connect the u render with the media out and you will see that this appears right here now go over to the u transform and from here just change the scale to 0 0.005 and this is how it looks right here now go ahead and press control space and search for u camera once you add this u camera right here you can connect this with the u merge now go over to the merge press one on the keyboard and this is how it will look right click and click on left and this is how it looks so right here we have the camera so let's move this outside the screen move this up outside the screen like this now go ahead and select use target and from here you can just move this up like this and of course you can also use this y to move this up as well Now let's go ahead and add in our second 3D asset, control space, search for U loader, and add in the second 3D asset, which is of the destroyed buildings. Now also add U transform just like we did before and connect this with the U merge. Now make sure to select U transform, go over to the scale, and this time change this to 0 0.0003 right here. Now you can just use this to move this up right here. You can also zoom in and move this right here. So let's position this. So make sure that this is appearing on your table. Now you can go over to the U renderer. Make sure to change this camera to U camera and change the complexity to low. And also make sure to change the lighting to C. Now the reason why we have this complexity at low is so that this does not affect your editing process otherwise you might experience that this will close davinci resolve for you and you will have a lot of glitch while you are editing so make sure to keep this at low for now and also make sure to go over to playback and change this to quarter now this screen is black but in order to add some light to it you can press Control space and search for use sphere light and now you can just add this to the merge click on the u use sphere light and then you can just move this move this up right here somewhere around here and now you can also add a 3d asset 3d shape so let's add this right here with the merge go over to lock width and unselect this then you can change the width and the height like this now go right here and you can go over to the transform change the z from here now you can go over to the sphere light and from here you can just change this to linear you can also go with decay but i'm going to keep this at linear now let's add in our text so i'm just going to type in buildings and let's connect this with the u merge now right here i'm going to bring this on the screen somewhere around here right where this is ending and i can you can decrease the size from here and move this up right here you can also go over to colors and you can change the color to whatever you like i'm just going to go with a darker add in another text and this time let's type in 1990s and the font that i'm using is harmony so now let's connect this with the merge and from here again let's move this right here where our screen is and now let's decrease the size 
somewhere around here move this back something like this now select your camera and go over to zero and from here right click and select animate translate group and also select the y from here make sure to create a keyframe right here then go all the way to the end and now you can just change the position so let's go over with the y something like this and then something like something like this and then something like this So let's play this and see how this looks. So here you can already see that this is the kind of animation that you mostly see in videos from Fern and Imperial. All right, now let's start animating the text as well. But right here with our 1990s, right here when it comes to this position, you will notice some change. So let's go right here and let's move this down a little bit right here so now you will notice this looks okay now let's start animating our text so go over to the text right here at 3d1 then let's go over at 70 and in the transform you can create a keyframe at y and then at 50 maybe you can just move this down right here and make sure to increase the size so that this goes down a little bit so maybe let's say 0.23 and if you play this, this is how it look. And right here, we're going to add this at 85. So go over to text 2, click on right on, create a keyframe, and then at 70, change this to 0. Perfect. Okay, but for this text 2, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the transform right here. And I'm going to go over to the text right here and I'm going to decrease this even further. And I'm going to move this right here. So if we play this, this is how it will look. And of course, you can change the color for this as well so that this is more visible. Somewhere like this. Perfect. Now let's go back to the camera and make sure you select your camera. And right here, I'm going to add some more. You can say changes something like this so if you play this now so there you go now you can go back to the renderer and from here just change the complexity back to high and now you are ready to export this